We're going to keep this show rolling. This brother's coming up. You all show some love. He's a, to me, this brother's very, very funny. He's a massive impressionist all the way from Texas. Got a friend with him. They're going to do it together. Mr. Thomas Miles of BET's Comic View favorite, Mr. J. Feel like I thought I was Frankie Beverly for a minute. Cause you know we in New Orleans. Everybody come to New Orleans to get their groove on, don't they? New Orleans, if y'all in the house, make some noise, New Orleans. Woo! Man, oh I love this, man. One thing I can say about New Orleans, man. You know, one thing I can say about New Orleans. This is like one of the cities, man. You can come to, man. It's a lot of history down here, man. A lot of legacy, especially music. When it comes to music, rich music comes out of New Orleans. Am I right? And I know we got some music fans up in here, don't we? See, I say, I love music, man. I, matter of fact, let me just give you a sample of what I'm talking about. Should I give you a sample? Because I don't think y'all know. See, I, I, this, this is what I'm talking about. Something like... Check it out, y'all. Then you gotta make a New Orleans style. Do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Oh, let me let me stop. Let me stop. I'm about to. I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose it. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. That's what I'm talking about, man. Oh, man. New Orleans, Louisiana. One thing I like about Louisiana also is the casinos, man. I know y'all be getting y'all gambling on, don't y'all? Some of y'all been to the casino since y'all been here. I know I went to the casino yesterday. One thing interesting about casinos, black folks, we will flock a casino, won't we? Even not just black folks, I'm talking about church folk. Bruce Bruce was talking about church people. You know, church people will go to a casino in a minute. And you know, you know, sometimes you think to yourself, is it right for us to go to the casino like this? They be having church buses going to the casino. Sometimes your pastor might be in there on a slot machine trying to hide from y'all so y'all thinking, you know, he ain't over there. I bet they better not see me over here. Look at some, come on, look at some, come on now, amen. Thank you, God. Man, we was up in this casino one time, man. We was in New Orleans and it was crazy, man. We saw a group of church folks gathered around this blackjack table having prayer meeting. It was a shame. I was like, oh my God, I don't believe everybody was looking like, what are they doing? And like, oh Lord, hallelujah. As we bow down with these dice in my hand. Lord, we need money for the, for the church building fund. Yes, yeah, Lord. Uh -huh. Come on, look at 21, 21. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm like, hey, hey. Skin black folk they didn't want us, the dark skin sisters they didn't want us, they gonna want us now. Cause you know what's about to happen this year? You know they had the million man march? They got the million light skin brothers march coming up. Yes it is. All the ministers gonna be there, everybody gonna be there. Elder Barge is gonna be speaking. Sinbad gonna be speaking, everybody gonna be there. Now you've got to imagine yourself watching a news conference and seeing the minister come out and talk about this million light skin man march. Cause you know it's gonna be off the hook. Just imagine. This is BET News. Sitting in for Ed Gordon, here is Jay Lamont. Thanks for joining us. We're broadcasting live from New Orleans, Louisiana. Of course, this is the House of BET is coming here for this season. Of course, we have a very special announcement coming up this course. You know, the Million Light Skin Man March is heading. It's going to be very extravagant. Of course, one of the speakers is going to be here. Would you please put your hands together for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Please welcome him right now. Thank you, um, Minister Farrakhan. Thanks for being on our show today. Uh, thank you for taking your time out. You're here in New Orleans, Louisiana, of course. Now, we understand that there is a million, now you've had the Million Man March. You organized that as well as other marches. And now we have what we call the Million Light-Skinned Man March. 
and I understand the theme of this march is making a comeback, so come and get us. Would you, um, would you tell our listening audience and those who are watching at home, well, what, what will be planned for this march? What's to occur? Old praises <laughs> to Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, the creator of the heaven and the earth, for there is none greater than Allah. Now speaking on the light-skinned march, I got to let you know that all of the brethren are going to be there. Shamad Mo. He gonna be in the house. I spoke with Brother Julian Bond from the NAACP. He's gonna be there. I haven't gotten in touch with Colin Powell yet. But sooner or later we'll get him there. Steve Harvey gonna be speaking. Ain't that right, Steve? Cedric not going to be able to make it this time. Minister Farrakhan, another big round of applause. Minister Farrakhan, thanks for joining us. Another big round of applause. And also, let's bring in our next guest, of course, from the Rainbow Push Coalition, uh, which please welcome the Reverend Jesse Jackson. Please, big round of applause. Uh, Reverend Jackson, thanks for being on our show. Of course, I, we understand you've been through a lot of situations that we will not dwell into at this moment. Uh, but uh, won't you tell us about some of the things that you're doing? What, uh, what's going on in your life right now as far as what you've been through? Well, if everybody in the nation would pull together as a generation inside the congregation, wouldn't it be a great a sensation to justify God's creation? To get into heaven, we may have to sit down and fill out an application. <laughs> sit through an orientation, go through all types of situations. But when we get to heaven, there's going to be a celebration. Reverend Jesse Jackson, thanks for being with us. And last but not least, y'all, although I said we've got Bush in office, just imagine as of now, just imagine that we would have our first black president finally in office. Can you imagine that? Well, we have him here right now, y'all. Just picture in your mind the black president of the United States, and he's going to come out here at this time now, y'all, and we're going to have our own official press conference where you can ask him anything you'd like to. Would y'all please welcome President Rashid Antoine Wilson. a lot of fans out there, President. President Wilson, uh, thanks for joining us here on BET News. We're live here in New Orleans for BET's Comic View. And uh, I understand you're making a campaign stop here in New Orleans. And of course, we appreciate that. Of course, I know you, you were back in the back speaking with Bruce Bruce and Ronaldo Ray about what you plan to do. Let me start off with this press conference before we go to the audience and uh, ask you, what do you plan to do as far as being president in office and what you would do as far as tax budget cuts and that kind of stuff? We'll talk about the tax budget. <laughs> One thing I ain't got to worry about is black folk because we've been budgeting the whole time. <laughs> so all I can tell y'all, just keep on keeping on. Right then, we got any questions out here? Anybody? We got any, any questions, questions from the panel? Go ahead, brother. Uh, legalizing weed. Okay, legalizing weed. 
I ain't gonna be able to legalize weed. I be to put all my cousin out of business. President Wilson. And uh, 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 other, uh, another question. Anybody else? Anybody else now? Question over here, Mr. What are you going to do about welfare reform? Welfare, welfare reform. Welfare, well, hell, I think it's fair to me. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Go ahead, uh, sister. Sister in question. the back right there. A uh, national safety. National uh, safety. Look at that bull run down to Home Depot and get you some locks and lock them down. Vote for President Wilson. Any, any more questions? Any more questions? One more, one more, one, one more. more Go ahead. This gentleman right here. Uh oh, child support payments. Look at that, I'm going to tell you like this here. You ain't taking care of your child. I ain't finna help you out on no kind of shit. President Wilson, vote for it. Hey, y'all, Mr. Thomas Miles. I'm Jay Lamont. I'm out here. That's my time. See ya.